Hi there heavy haulers. Today we're going to be taking a look at Easy Connectors mounting bracket. And this is what our bracket looks like when it's installed. It's specifically designed to mount up an Easy Connector 7 or 14 pin self-closing connector, just like the one that we have here. And we can see it gives you a really nice look here at the back. Even the mounting holes for the connector are hidden inside the connector here on the Easy Connector. The hardware does come included with the bracket for getting your Easy Connector mounted up, and it threads directly into the bracket. There's no nuts or washers or anything like that required. The bolts just thread in. This gives you a really nice look. I really like the look of the aluminum here. The connector fills it in very nicely. And with this aluminum uh, kind of finish on it here, you do have the option to paint it. And I highly recommend that you do paint it. And here we've got it just kind of showing off how it looks when you'll get it. We did put a clear coat on it, but you could paint it to match the back of your vehicle, whether you want it to match your connectors and your hitch by painting it black, or maybe you have a red bumper on the back of your truck and you want to maintain that look, you could have this matched directly to the, the same color as your vehicle. And this bracketer is designed for custom installation. The mounting holes here at the top, if you're putting them in, you will have to drill those holes for you. There's no pre-drilled holes here in the top just for the ones for mounting your Easy Connector. And they've done that so that way you can have the cleanest look wherever you mount it because you're drilling the holes only in the specific location that you want your hardware to be. And if you're going for a custom look and you want it to really look nice, you don't want to see any extra holes. So it's cool that they've done that. They've really given a good solid option here. So if you follow along with us, we'll show you how to get it installed. We'll begin our installation at the back of the vehicle and determine where we're going to be putting our seven-way bracket. Because this is a kind of you can choose wherever you want to put it type bracket. You will have to drill your own mounting holes and provide your own mounting hardware to get the bracket mounted up. You do get hardware included for mounting the easy connector to it. So that way you do get that hardware. One of the ways you can get it mounted up, and the way that we chose, was to use a no-drill bracket. You can get these here at e-trailer, and this makes it so we don't have to drill into the bumper or into our hitch and perform any modifications to the vehicle side whatsoever. But one of the things you can look out for is something like this that's already on your hitch. Some manufacturers do provide a tab like this, which is designed for mounting six, seven, four pole brackets and like that to them. So if you have one, you can probably mount yours directly to it. If not, then you'll need some solution here, or you could, again, you could drill directly into something and go ahead and modify your vehicle. Now the bracket does need to be modified in order to work. You can see I drilled out two holes there. All I did was hold it up to my bracket here, and then I just made some marks with a marker, and then I drilled out the holes, so that way we can get it attached. I used a quarter inch drill bit, which is a little bit larger than you need because most hardware is going to be 5 16 but that's going to give you a little bit of leeway so you can ensure that it's straight and get it in the proper orientation. So now that we know where we're going to put it, we can go ahead and use our hardware to attach it to it. This hardware came included with our no drill bracket here. So if you decided to just run it into your bumper or something, you'll want to just use some self-tapping screws or something like that to get those into there. But if you get the long bracket and follow along with us, you'll have hardware that does come included with that. After sliding the hardware down through the top of our bracket, our no drill bracket, we slid our seven way bracket on here, our easy connector bracket. And then we're just gonna follow that up with the nut. The nuts that come included with our no drill bracket, they have star washers that are made onto them. And I really like the hardware here, because if you look at this, you're probably wondering, well, hey, how are you gonna get a screwdriver up on top? To tighten those down and with these we don't really need to if we just put a little bit of pressure up there and we can then just tighten it down the nuts will grab and it will hold it on there very tightly you can see we've got no play we're going to do the same thing with the other one and now we've got that mounted up securely now when it comes to mounting here you can see that our easy connector doesn't have any of the wire connections made so you'll either want to make sure that you pull your wire through the hole here, make your connections and then mount it up or just mount it up first and then you can make your connections after it's mounted, whichever works best for you. Now that we've got our connector slid in here, we're gonna open it up and this is harder to open than most of your seven way connectors and that's due to the magnetism. You can feel that when you first open it, you've got magnetism pulling on it. And we also have a spring loaded mechanism in there as well, keeping it shut. And you can see the large seal here that keeps out any moisture. This is probably the best weatherproof connection that you can get for the back of your vehicle. So now we've got it open, I'm just gonna stick my finger in there to keep it from fully shutting because that magnetism is, it is, does hold it pretty tight. And we're just gonna open it. We're gonna take our included hardware and then we're just gonna thread it in. 
Now, one of the things I did notice about this bracket and this hardware was that the hardware here is stainless steel and our bracket is made of aluminum. So, one of the things we can do to help prevent against corrosion here due to the dissimilar metals is we can take a clear coat and paint our bracket. That'll help give us a layer of protection. And then we can also be very generous with anti-seize on our bolts. So we are gonna do that here before we thread it in there to combat the issue of the dissimilar metals that we've got going on here. Make sure we put a very heavy mount of anti-seize on our stainless steel bolt. That's gonna help prevent it from galling when we insert it. And it's also gonna help prevent against any galvanic corrosion that can occur between two dissimilar metals. So we're just gonna get this started. If you need some anti-seize, you can pick some up here at E-Trailer. With these connections, I do recommend getting each one started and then going back and tightening them down. So we got one started there. You can see we're gonna repeat the same process of putting anti-seize on and starting the remaining bolts here. And if we take a look at the back side of our bracket here, you can see that the holes here, we're not putting any nuts on the other side of these bolts. These holes are pre-threaded, so our bolts just thread directly into them. That's part of why we're going so heavy with the anti-seize before putting them in. And I do like that it does make things a little bit easier. We don't have to worry about fumbling with any nuts and washers and lock washers and all that hardware that you could potentially drop and lose. You just push your bolt in and thread it right in. It gives you a cleaner look in the end. So now that we've got them all started, we can go back and snug them down. We don't want to go crazy tight as this is just a composite housing. We don't want to cause any damage to it, so we're just running them in until they're snug. And with our hardware tightened down, that'll complete the installation of our connector into our bracket. The only thing that's left now is if you still need to finish up wiring the connector, you can go ahead and do so. You want to follow your instructions that comes included with your connector. So now we've got our, the trailer end of our easy connector here. Let's go ahead and flip open the cover and test it out. And it clicks and locks right in. We've got a nice solid mounting connection right there. So we have now upgraded from the factory seven way that we've got in our vehicle here to a much more secure, easy connect that is going to have a magnetic solution to keep our connections made. And that completes our look at easy connectors mounting bracket.